So let's examine the following example involving elastic collisions in one dimension, so along the x-axis. So, suppose we have two billiard balls, x and y, both having the same mass m. We want to find the velocities of the two balls after they collide if a both balls are moving with the same velocities, so they have the same magnitude, but different directions. So one is moving this way, the other one is moving this way. And B, ball X has a velocity of V, while ball Y is stationary. So one ball is stationary, and the other ball is moving directly at it. So let's look at part A. So let's draw our diagram. In part A, we have ball X, which is moving in this direction with a velocity that has a magnitude of V, and ball Y is moving in this direction with that same magnitude of velocity. Now we want to find what the final velocities are of both X, of ball X and ball Y. So from before, from our other lecture, we know the following result. So my initial velocity of ball X plus my final velocity of ball X equals my final velocity of ball Y plus my initial velocity of ball Y, where the primes, these dashes, simply represent the final velocities. Now, we know from the conservation of mass that, or the conservation of momentum, that momentum before equals momentum after. So, this is the momentum before, and this is the momentum after. Now, note that both balls have the same velocity, so that means we can cross out these m. So, we divide the whole equation by m, and we simply get vx plus vy equals vx final plus vy final. <coughs> so, Note that now we have two equations, one, two, and we have two unknowns. So we know our Vx and Vy, but we don't know Vx prime and Vy prime. So since we have two equations and two unknowns, we can solve for those two unknowns. So let's take equation two and subtract it from equation one. And we get the following result. So Vx prime minus Vy equals Vy minus Vx prime. And let's bring everything, all the Vx primes on one side and all the Vy's on the other side. And we get the following result. 2 times Vx prime equals 2 times Vy. We simply divide by 2 and we get this formula. So this tells us that my final velocity of ball x is equal to the initial velocity of ball y. So what happens is they simply exchange velocities. So if this initial velocity was 10 meters per second and this was 10 meters per second negative since negative is this way and positive is this way, that means once they collide, this ball will begin moving in the opposite direction with a magnitude of 10 meters per second. So this will have negative 10 meters per second. So now let's go to part B. So in part B, we want to find what happens if now Y is stationary and X is moving at this direction in the positive direction with a velocity of V. So once again, we can apply this equation. So we know we are given that the velocity of Vy is zero. So that means from this equation, since this guy is zero, the final velocity of my x of ball x is zero. So as soon as the ball hits this, uh, this uh, red ball, this x ball, the blue ball, will stop it will remain stationary. They will exchange velocities and this ball will now begin traveling in this direction with the initial velocity of ball x. So if the initial velocity was 10 meters per second and this guy was stationary, once they make that collision, this guy will become stationary, but this object, ball number two, will begin moving in this direction with a magnitude of 10 meters per second. So, the final velocity of object X is zero, while the final velocity of object Y is the same velocity that the initial ball X had.